Parliament returns today after a five-week break with the Albanese government facing a fresh fight on welfare and housing. Olivia Kaisley joins us from Canberra. Olivia, the coalition wants to cut welfare but boost incentives to work. That's right, Pete. So they don't agree with Labor's $40 a fortnight increase to JobSeeker. Instead, they would like to see uh, welfare recipients given the opportunity to work more hours before they're kicked off the payment. Some crossbenchers, meanwhile, think that the uh, increase is just simply not enough given the cost of living crisis. This comes, of course, as the RBA is going to meet tomorrow to determine whether to hike the cash rate for the 13th time since May last year. In a separate political fight, Labor is facing off over the Greens when it comes to its housing policy. This is a signature policy it took to the last election, and that's to build 30,000 new social and affordable homes over five years. The Greens, though, says uh, this policy doesn't touch the sides when it comes to fixing the housing crisis being faced by many Australians. And they also want to see more support for renters as well. We did see the Prime Minister on Friday uh, threatening to use the stalemate as a trigger to call an early election. It is going to be a sombre start uh, to this sitting fortnight, uh, given the uh, military exercise, Talisman Sabre, uh, and those missing uh, yeah. aviators. The government is considering whether to permanently ground the Taipan helicopter over the incident if a mechanical failure is believed to be at fault.